Hey, this is Mitch Mitchell, and I'm talking to you today because I haven't done a video for this channel in a couple of weeks. I actually did an interview on my business channel with a guy named William Eric Lindsay, which I'm going to link to here. So if you're interested in checking him out, he's a business coach with a company called Action Coach. And I found him to be a very interesting guy. And maybe you will too. You might get some good stuff out of it. I certainly did. And I really needed it because lately I'm kind of in one of those weird states of flux that is disappointing to me because usually I'm a little better directed than I seem to be these days and it's just really bothering me. And I figured, you know what, I would put out this little video here, kind of tell you that, you know, what's going on with me and maybe you guys can offer some suggestions. And it may be the kind of thing where maybe you're in the same boat as I'm in. And it lets you know that you're not the only one. So here's the issue. Number one, um, it's taking me longer than I thought it would to get my next contract. That's just sometimes how it goes. Now, I had this good long contract where I worked in Memphis. And pretty much one of the problems you have with a long contract is that once you're done, you have to try to reestablish yourself. And in my main field, which is healthcare finance, you know, a lot of those people are gone. <laughs> and so I'm ha having some difficulties. And also one of the problems I have is that I mainly work with hospitals. And hospitals aren't close together. It's not like you have like 40 or 50 hospitals in a city. So I have to pretty much stretch out a good long way. And I can't just hop in the car and go visit hospitals in Ohio and Connecticut and New Jersey or, you know, anywhere else because I'm right here in central New York. And, you know, I can visit the hospitals here, but the folks here know me already. And there's that thing about being too close where people, if you're in the same town, they don't think you know what you're doing. I don't get it. You know, I helped a hospital make $730 million in one year. And locally they say, eh, but you're just a local guy. <laughs> Idiocy. So I'm having that issue. I'm having an issue because I'm not really sure anymore how to get speaking engagements. I've spoken in nine states, but probably since 2006 or 2007, I haven't left New York. It's been a long time. I've given presentations locally, but nowhere else. And I need to get that going. I want to do a webinar, but I'm not sure what to do the webinar in because I'm not sure who would come. And that may sound kind of weird. So I'll let you know that, you know, there's some subjects that I know in healthcare. And the thing is, I know that if I could reach certain people, I could get people to come, but it's hard reaching those people. I think I could talk about blogging, but at what point? Do I start intermediate? Do I start at the beginning? And who would come? It, you know, I don't know, because I don't want to do them all for free. I want to make some money off of it. I can do tons of different subjects, but I'm not sure what people want to hear. And I could say, well, you know what, I'll see what people respond to on the videos, but you know, it's like the numbers have kind of gone down, so you're not really sure who's watching videos. Eh, I'm going to keep putting them out there <laughs> until I, you know, who knows? I may end up being an underground success one of these days. You know, maybe I'll be like um, Picasso, who had to wait until he was dead before all of a sudden people say, hey, this guy's a genius, which I still don't understand, but okay, that's me. So I'm in that state of flux. I'm in a state of flux because we, once again, have had a little bit of winter damage to the house and last year we had all this money coming in so we paid cash for everything okay you have to write a check because some folks won't accept cash but we paid for everything out of hand we didn't use any credit so here we are this year we have some other damage but we just don't have it right now you know I mean my money right now is in that state where it's kind of all going out I don't have anything new really coming in so therefore I can't just dip into my money and pay it all off like we did last year and this year, we're going to end up owing some something on taxes. Not a bunch, but we're going to end up owing a little bit of something. So, you know, that's just how life is. So, you know, I, I get into that state sometimes where I just don't know what to do. And it's been a rough winter. We here in central New York, uh, we're not going to break our snow record, but we had the coldest February on, in history here, and we had the second snowiest February in history, which means we didn't have a lot of sun. <laughs> 
As a matter of fact, the one of the funniest things is my wife came home this weekend because she's been working out of town. She came home this weekend for a quick trip and she left early this morning and I was still in bed. And so I get up and I walked into the kitchen and I think, what's wrong with the kitchen? Something's wrong here. Something's different. What had happened? She had opened up the blinds. I forgot there were blinds in the kitchen. I'm in the kitchen every day, but I never opened up blinds. I never even thought about it. But then again, the sun was out today and we haven't had a lot of sun. So I feel like I'm out of practice. And so I'm just kind of all thrown off and I don't feel like me these days. And I'm not really sure what to do. And this may seem a little whiny, but you know what? Sometimes you just got to put it out there and tell it like it is. I know I'm not alone in this kind of thing. You know, I've been talking to a couple of my other friends and some of them are feeling the exact same way. Like they're not really sure what direction they want to go in. And, you know, things they've been doing, they are either tired of that or it hasn't been producing what they want. And, you know, it's not necessarily always easy being an entrepreneur. As a matter of fact, no one ever has said it's easy. But it's one of those kind of things where you can try to work as hard as you want to as far as finding the people. You know, if you really get down to it and if you can get the necessary courage to do it right, and it takes a lot of courage because it can be painful. I mean, that's one of the things that Eric said in the interview last week, that it can be painful trying to get new clients, but it can be so fruitful if you get them. And you have a little bit more control over your life, even when you don't feel like you have any control over your life. So this is the state I'm in right now. I'm not really sure just where I want to go. And so I'm asking you guys a couple of questions. If anyone wants to respond to this, one, is this a feeling you go through? Two, if it is, what do you do about it? Or do you do anything about it? And three, knowing that there's a lot of things I can do, if you were going to pay for a webinar, what would you like to know? Now, I'm not saying that I know everything in the world. If you say, well, I want to know about car repair, you know what? I, I'm not going to be the guy. I know nothing about cars. If you're going to talk about mountain climbing, I'm going to say, no, go watch one of those other guys who does that because I don't do that. But if you want something about social media, if you want something about blogging, if you want to know something about medical billing, if you want to know something about leadership, if you want to talk diversity, if you want to talk about, oh, I don't know. Let's talk. Let's find out. You know, I've got a bunch of videos on this channel and I have a bunch of videos on my other channel, which I'll put a link to so you can go, you know, see what I talk about over there. And if there's any of those things, let me know. And who knows? I may put up a webinar and charge you guys a little bit of money just to get things going and see what's going on. I might even do a free one. I've done a free one. As a matter of fact, I'm going to kind of link to it. I did a free one, was it last year, year and a half ago on blogging? And I'm going to link to that here so you can go check that out. See how that went. That was during a Google Hangout, and I thought it was kind of fun. So there you go. Anyway, this is Mitch Mitchell. I'm sitting closer uh, to the monitor this time and the camera than I usually do. I usually sit back, but sometimes I think I'm yelling at the camera. <laughs> I don't want to do that. So let me know your thoughts. Hope you all have a great day.